Here we're going to show you how to get inside a Sequential Circuits Profit 5 synthesizer. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace the key bushings. Because what, what you have is um, keys that stick and also that clack and make noise because the bushings all dried out. So these are very noisy and clacky. Now we're going to rectify that. So what we do is we remove all the screws underneath the keyboard. You have um, a line of screws on this side, this side, and the top, and then there's two straight edge screws, flathead screws, that you have to remove. And then once you remove them, we're going to put this down and we're going to remove some more screws from the back. Now that we have all the, the bottom screws out, we're going to turn the keyboard around and we're going to get the screws on the back. There's four of them. There we go. Now we're going to turn it around and remove the top. Okay, now that we have all those four screws off the back, the machine head screws, we're going to pull this forward and you can see the power supply in the back transformer filter caps and the bus wire going through all the jacks so what we do is we lift up and you can see the motherboards inside what we have here is your keying your bus bar and your key contacts um, a multi ribbon control uh, cable going to all, all of your keys now what we're going to do to remove this, the key bed, is we're going to want to loosen these screws. This one, this one, this one, and this one. And then we're going to lay it down and we're going to be able to pull the key bed out. But first before we do that, we want to remove this multi-pin connector. Uh, take caution when doing this because the, the, the pins are very uh, easily breakable. And so you want to take great caution when removing them. I'm going to make sure that's out of the way. Alright, so we're going to start removing the screws. On the last two screws, what we're going to want to do is we're going to pull the Profit 5 down on the ground and remove the screws in its natural position. This way, when you remove the last two screws, the key bed doesn't go flying because you're not having it vertical. You want it horizontal so it's stable. Um, okay, now we'll pull it out. Okay, now that we have that last screw out, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to lift the key bed out. You want to make sure that you're not jamming anything and not breaking anything in the way. I'm going to watch the key contacts. There we go. Now you have the whole entire key assembly out and ready to either change springs, change keys, fix key contacts, or replace key bushings. And that's what we're going to do next. Okay, in removing the springs from the Profit 5, you're going to want to watch what you're doing. You're going to, because these will shoot off and go across the room and you'll never find them again. So when you're removing them, lift down and keep your thumb there so it doesn't uh, shoot out. And remember that the blue springs go for the sharp keys and the red springs go for the white naturals. Once you do that across the board, what you're going to want to do is then remove the keys. And to remove a key, you lift up from the back and push forward. Sometimes they get a little stuck.
Okay. As you can see, once we get them off, you can see the bushings inside there, the rubber bushings. What happens is these get worn out and they shrink and they get hard and they deteriorate and they just don't work anymore. They become useless. They fall apart. Uh, especially when they become hard. That's when they're completely ineffective. They become brittle and what you hear is uh, a lot of clacking. And they just fall apart. Keys start to chatter. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove all of them and then replace them with new bushings. Uh, to make an, uh, a note about uh, removing the keys, uh, you might find some more difficult than others to, uh, to pull up like um, we were experiencing earlier. Uh, what you might want to note is, is that the back comb to the key, a lot of these are bent. So what you want to do is you want to bend them straight. This will help you get the key off easier and also be able to put the key back on easier. But you also want to be very careful that you don't break the metal. So you want to move it slow. As long as they're relatively straight. come off easier but a lot of them they, they are difficult to pop off some of them more easier are easier than others all right here we are we have all the keys off the Pratt & Reed assembly and what we're going to do is we're going to remove all of the key bushings now, the old ones. Most of these are dry rotted. They fall right off. And then once we have these all off, we'll show you how we put the new ones on and how we're going to level out the keys, the key combs. Now we're going to talk about leveling the keys. Um, the Pratt & Reed key um, comb here has to deal with how straight the keys sit, how low or high the keys sit. The bushing is going to be around here. Um, also how close they, the, the keys um, join together. You want equal spacing and you want them to be level. Um, it, it, I, I think I said it also has to do with the key dip. So what you want to do is get like a, a ruler and you want to measure one that's right. All right, and you want to you want to mark that height and then you want to make that consistent on every one. And where it isn't consistent in, or is consistent, change it with a little pressure with a tool such as a needle nose pliers up or down. Um, you can tweak them side to side also, but warning, you don't want to turn them too much because if these snap, you're, uh, you're up the creek. Um, another way to do it is to use a flat edge. Um, you can put this along the edge, <clears throat> as long as you know it's a straight, straight edge, and you can see the gap on which ones are down and which ones are up. And typically in the center you're going to have um, them bent down from all the action being played in the center. So if you can see that gap there, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to raise them up now. Because I can visually see the straight line where, where they're off. 